The director said if I saw you, to tell you to come see him. Okay. Don't tell him you saw me. Hey there, rookie. The name is Lindo Amamiya. On paper, I'm your superior officer. But, uh, never mind all that boring stuff, okay? All I'm asking is that you become someone I know will have my back. Okay? Oh. Who's this, a rookie? Yeah, and I'm pounding him with all our severe rules right now, so take a hike, Sakuya. Yes, sir, big boss, sir. So anyway, that's about it, okay? I'm sending you right into battle now. But I'll be accompanying you on this mission. Hey, look at the time. We're gonna head out, guys. Boy, this place has seen better times, huh? Hey, Rookie, we're gonna start the simulation now. You got three orders. Don't die. If your number's up, get out. Lastly, hide. If you're lucky, catch the enemy off guard and blast it. Wait, is that four? The bottom line is you've got to survive. Just follow that order and everything else will be fine. All right, let's get this show on the road. Relax. an easy victory, huh? There you are. <clears throat> All right. Let's jump right in. What do you think an origami is? The nemesis of humankind. An absolute predator. Destroyer of the world. Well, that about sums it up. Now then, these aren't misconceptions. Rather, you could say it means one simply has his eyes fixed on the phenomena before him. Okay, I have a question. Have you ever wondered how and why the origami came into being? As you probably know, the origami appeared out of nowhere one day. Since then, their numbers exploded. Yep, as if they were ripping right through every evolutional process. <sighs> Hey, listen, does this lecture have a point? I mean, what do we care about the reason for the origami existence? Sure about that? Well... An origami has no brain. Neither does it have a heart, nor even spinal fluid. We frail humans will perish if we get blasted in the head or the chest. But that's not enough to bring down an origami. An origami is a cluster of oracle cells, each of which is a single cell organism that thinks and preys on others. That's right. An origami is in itself a colony of thousands. Make that hundreds of thousands of life forms. And this powerful, graceful fusion of cells can't be destroyed by conventional weapons. Not the ones we have, anyway. So how on earth are you people supposed to battle these origami? Um, let's see. Just keep slashing and blasting them with our god arc? Yes. The short answer is that using a god arc a bioweapon embedded with the same oracle cells is the only way to stop the fusing of an origami's oracle cells. However, this can also cause rogue cell colonies to refuse and then form a new entity. The best thing to do would be to extract the origami core, the cell colony serving as a command center. But this is extraordinarily difficult to do. Even with God Arc, we have no way to deliver a decisive blow. Somewhere along the way, the people, 
likened this absolute being to countless gods that have been passed down around here, and they started to call it Aragami. All right, that's it for today's lecture. I'd like you to refer to the Norn database in the terminal for more details about the Aragami. Understood? new recruit I met earlier. My name's Sakuya Tachibana. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Are you nervous? You need to relax, or you'll find yourself freezing up at crucial times. <laughs> All right, I'm going to brief you now. During this mission, you're going to take the lead. I'll be backing you up from the rear. This is basic strategy for teaming up with a god eater with a long-distance god arc. So don't forget it. And don't get too far ahead. Always stay within firing range of your backup. Okay? Good. You do as you're told. I'm counting on you. All right. Let's begin. Okay, let's go. Let's begin. Are you the rookie we've been hearing so much about? I'm Eric. Eric de Vogelweib. I suggest you take your cues from me and learn to battle gloriously for humankind. Eric, above you! Huh? <laughs> Don't just stand there! Welcome to this god-awful workplace. I'm Soma. Not that you need to remember that. Sorry to break it to you, but this kind of thing happens on a daily basis here. What kind of place did you think it was gonna be? Just kidding. Time's up. Let's go, rookie. If you don't want to die, just stay out of my way as much as possible.
करते Hey, um, are we heading out together this time? Glad we both survived. That's all that matters in our line of work, right? I don't know what my mom and sister would do if something happened to me. So I've got to watch out. Hey, by the way, you know Sakuya, don't you? Are you too close? She's really pretty, don't you think? Good looking, friendly, and strong. Like an Amazon warrior. How hot is that? All right. I'm getting all pumped up here. Let's see who can take out the most enemies during this mission. I'm going to show that Sakuya how awesome I am. Again. All right, let's go. I'll back you on no heard the term arcology arcology means a building completely self-contained and self-sufficient in production and consumption yep that's right this Fenrir branch with a den at its center can be thought of as a type of arcology to put it in extreme terms with the exception of a certain branch should the entire Fenrir Corp collapse this one remaining branch will be able to live on exactly as it did before by taking full care of production and consumption on its own. The den has a fully equipped plant below for producing food, god arc, and various other materials. And it boasts a solid defensive capacity with an anti-origami armored wall along its perimeter. Not to mention you top-notch god eaters, among other things. That's the Fenrir branch in a nutshell. 
It's a highly advanced arcology project optimized to protect humankind. But there's still one issue that plagues us. It can only house a limited number of people at any given time. As I'm sure you all know, there has been, for some time, a vast outer ghetto surrounding the Far East branch. But the fact is, we still don't have the space available to house them all here. I'm afraid the best we can do at this time is to surround the outer ghetto with an anti-Aragami armored wall. But do you think that's enough? I hear the armor has been compromised a lot lately. Well, that's why we have the God Eater defense unit posted there. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot that your family lives in the outer ghetto. Forgive me for sounding so flippant. Oh, no, I just... Actually, there was a plan to expand the den downward and build another inner residential section. But the Aegis Project improved on that plan and made it even safer, right? Yes. At this time, most of the resources from the Far East Branch's underground plant are being allocated to Aegis construction. Why don't we talk about that another time?